All right, what's up, everybody? Check this out. We're going to do an example problem with uh, cylindrical coordinates and curvilinear motion for kinematics. And in this problem, we've got like this particle, well, in this case, it'll be a bird, moving in a circular loop in the vertical r theta plane. And this seagull has a horizontal velocity that's fast, 150 meters per second, and no horizontal acceleration. So that no horizontal acceleration is the, is the clue that's saying that the the tangential component of acceleration here is zero, okay? And the radius of curvature of the loop is 1,500 meters. And this radius of curvature should clue you in that this you're going to have to calculate the normal component of acceleration to get the, the total acceleration of this particle. Anyway, so, and, and we got this radar. For the radar tracking at O, this radar over here, we want to determine the values at the instant shown okay we want to determine the the radial velocity that this radar sees or observes the angular velocity which is acting here in some orientation right here of the theta dot okay and then um and then uh the radial acceleration that the 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 satellite or this thing that's radar tracking this bird observes r double dot and the angular acceleration theta double dot and here just to show you Here's this bird, this really fast seagull, you know, and I'm sure there are some seagull fans out there, but here moving in this in this circular green path here, and the bird here with a velocity equal to 150 meters per second, and then here the radius of curvature, 1,500 meters, and then just at this instant. So whenever it says this instant, any of these dynamics problems that say instant, it's like taking a picture or a snapshot in time. And we want to find all these components, r dot, theta dot, r double dot, angular acceleration, blah, 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 all this junk at, at some time. But the first thing you got to do, and the way we're going to solve this is we're going to determine, forget the radar, the first thing we're going to do is determine what the total acceleration experienced by this bird, or what the acceleration and velocity vectors are of this bird first, okay? The, the total, doesn't matter what coordinate system we're looking at. Okay, and then we're going to establish an R theta directions or the po positive R, positive transverse orientations. Calculate any important angles that you know probably look obvious here, and then uh, and then just you know go and break it up into the R theta components and, and calculate based on definition. So here, let's go and do that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is is the um, is establish the total velocity and acceleration. Okay, so here we're going to calculate a and v of the particle okay of the particle and you guys can fast forward through some of this like me handwriting all this stuff it's not necessary but here look who cares about the radar just right now all we have is a bird okay this bird here that's flying in some circular path right here and it's got a velocity here v okay v equal to um i think we said 150 meters per second moving horizontally and, and what this means, and we also we're also told that the tangential component at is equal to zero. There's no horizontal acceleration, or in this case, because we're at the bottom of the loop, you know, this would be the horizontal direction, which also happens to be the tangential, and then here would be a normal direction here in that direction right here. So we have this velocity here. The total velocity of this bird is. Well, it's just going to be 150 meters per second to the right. The total, and then the acceleration is going to have two components here, especially something moving in a circular path. If we use a normal and tangential coordinate system, we would have this in the tangential component. We have a t equals zero, and in the normal component, uh, it's getting sloppy. A n is equal to just you know this definition of this normal normal acceleration or the centripetal v squared over rho rho being the radius of curvature. So in this case, this would be 150 meters per second um, squared over rho. I don't know what rho was. What was rho? Rho was 1,500 meters. 1,500 meters. And this becomes, you know, you get your calculator out. You do your numbers. This is just uh, 15 meters per second squared. 15 meters per second squared. And, then, and that means the total acceleration of this here of my um, of my particle here is is you know the square root the magnitude of the total acceleration is just a t squared plus a n squared and because a t is zero this is trivial but this is 15 meters per second squared and because the tangential component is zero 
our total acceleration just a point points upwards here a here of 15 meters per second squared okay and don't be sloppy keep the units you know don't be don't be all homeless with your numbers it ain't right you know just go be detailed so the next thing that we want to do is is essentially now we have we know the acceleration and velocity now we're going to want to determine hey what's my um what's my you know i'm just going to break these acceleration vector this acceleration vector and this velocity vector i'm just going to break them up into our theta coordinates so so what i really need to establish is what is is this establish i want to establish my plus r and plus theta direction for this particle so i have this particle here okay or this bird moving in a circular path and i've got this radar over here at o that's tracking it and i've got here this and, and the definition of the radial direction is from the origin to the particle okay so here here from the origin okay from the reference point to the particle and so this 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 direction right here is my plus r direction and my transverse direction is you know i might establish it here going this way or it's 90 degrees to this plus r so i'm just going to have here 90 degrees to this this will be my plus theta right here and i am going to make this dotted i want to make this dotted so it doesn't look so sloppy i okay and you know i, I probably don't even need my path anymore here i don't need that so let's clean that up a little bit bam that looks clean okay right here and i have an acceleration vector here an acceleration vector in red that's pointing upwards with a magnitude of 15 meters per second squared and a velocity vector in the horizontal direction v that's you know that's 150 meters per second all right 150 meters per second now that I have my R and theta components all set up at this, you know, I know the directions, I know the acceleration vector, I know my velocity vector. All I got to do is break this thing up, okay, into its its R component, the, the velocity into its R component. And, you know, one thing I do need for sure is this angle right here, this angle, which I'll call theta. Why not? I'll call it theta. And before we were told that this direction here and this here right here we'll call this r but this was i believe that number was 1000 meters and we'll make this 300 meters this distance so just using arc tangent you would be able to calculate this angle so theta we would say theta is equal to tan inverse of 300 opposite over the adjacent 1000 and this comes out to Oh, I did the calculations already. I wish I were really that smart. 16.7 degrees. Okay. You keep it in radians, whatever you want to do. Whatever, as long as you don't mess up, mess around with your calculator setting. All right. And, and now we're just going to take this with this angle known here. We can break up this velocity vector into the R component and the theta component. We can break up this acceleration vector into the R and theta component. So if I look at just the velocity vector here. And let's see if I can zoom in on this picture a little bit so that it doesn't look so bad. Let's see here. If I zoom in on this picture over here, I could say, hey, I've got, let's see, I'm going to break this. I got this boom and boom right here. And this would be my VR and this would be my V theta right here. And same thing with my acceleration vector. I could say, hey, I've got here a theta and this would be a r a theta and a r right there and look at that you know i have my a theta a r right here and all i gotta do is use trig to calculate it you know how hard is that right so i let's uh oh shoot okay i'm getting close to that 10 minute mark so i'm gonna stop here and then in part two i'll just finish up the calcs later